Hi guys, in today's class, I'm just going to give you some um, some notes and a brief description on how do we go about the calculation of the dosage of local anesthetics, all right? It's going to be very brief and uh, yeah, this is for the, uh, mostly for the students who have been asking me uh, doubts on calculating the dosage, all right? So in a local anesthetic, you have two things. Local anesthetic solution has your lignocaine. Okay, which is primarily the lo local anesthetic and then you also have adrenaline with it. So adrenaline is basically the vasoconstrictor. So in other words, it will decrease the you know uh, distribution or spreading out of this local anesthetic which is just supposed to be only in that particular local area rather than getting into the systemic circulation and causing systemic toxicity. So it decreases that as well as it will prevent, um, I mean it will increase the duration of action because it's being restricted to that particular area. So vasoconstrictor, so it's going to bring about the constriction of your vessels and uh, yeah, so the concentration of lignocaine is usually supposed to be or usually it is 2%. So how do we uh, decode or how do we calculate what this 2% means? So you know whenever you calculate in percentage, you know the overall is 100. So just keep that number 100 in mind. It's going to help you cause you're going to keep in mind the 2% means 2 grams in 100 ml. Okay, so how much is it going to be in 1 ml is the usual calculation. So you just got to do this cross multiplication, keep your mls on one side, keep the grams, milligrams on one side. So you want to know how many gram or milligram in 1 ml. So you're going to do the cross multiplication, so you know 1 ml into 2 gram divided by 100 ml. Alright, so when you have to calculate, you have to convert all these in milli, so this is going to become milligram, so that's going to become 2000 milligram. Now coming to 1 ml into 2000 milligram divided by 100 ml is equal to just uh, cross out the units then you're left with 20 milligram in 1 ml. So you know in a cartridge there is around 1.8 ml or 2.2 ml. Alright, so let's take 2.2 ml into consideration. So if one cartridge has total local anesthetic of 2.2 ml out of which okay, you need to calculate how many milligram of lignocaine is present. How would you calculate that? So if 1 ml of the solution has 20 mg of lignocaine, then how much will your 2.2 ml of the lignocaine solution contain? So you just got to multiply 2.2 into 20 which will come about to around 44 mg. Alright, suppose you have 1.8 ml as the cartridge, then it would come up to 36 mg of local anesthetic in one particular capule or cartridge. So now, now you know the amount of lignocaine in one cartridge. So it depends on how many, sometimes you have questions like how many cartridges are you supposed to use. So suppose everything is going to be uh, based on the patient's body weight. So when you're using uh, lignocaine with adrenaline, remember it is always going to be 7 milligram. Okay, 7 milligram per kg. All right. So when you're using the lignocaine with the vasoconstrictor, with the uh, with the vasoconstrictor or the adrenaline, it's going to be seven milligram per kg. So then you can calculate how many, uh, depending on the patient's body weight. Suppose you have a patient coming to you who is seventy kgs. So you're going to calculate it as seventy kgs. So into seven milligram per body weight. So that would become total of four ninety milligrams of lignocaine can be used on this pa patient all right so if you know that 7 milligram per body kg of lignocaine can be used then you know if the patient is 70 kilos so 7 into 70 will be 490 milligrams of lignocaine can be used on this patient all right so how do you calculate the cartridge or the carpule so you know that in one cartridge you have 44 milligram of your uh, lignocaine okay 44 or sometimes it is 36 depending on the ml of the carpule. So if it's 44 per cartridge and you know total he can be only 490 can be used in this patient who is 70 kilos. How many carpules? So you just have to divide your 490 divided by this 44 to get the number of cartridges. Okay to get the number of cartridges. So this is one kind of calculation. Sometimes they ask you the number of carpules. Sometimes they ask you how much of uh, lignocaine can be administered in this in a, in, a, in a patient of this many kilos. It doesn't have to always be 70. Can Obviously, depending on the patient's weight. So you go to multiply. So depending on if it's with or without uh, adrenaline, you can calculate it. And if you have to find out the number of carpules, you go to 
divided by the amount of lignocin that could be present based on this calculation in one carpule. Okay, so this is going to be your calculation for the lignocaine. Now coming to the vasoconstrictor. Now usually uh, whenever they talk about the vasoconstrictor, okay, they always talk in terms of uh, dilutions. So it's going to be either 1 in 1 lakh or say it could also be 1 in 10,000. Okay, or say it's, it could be 1 in thousand so depending upon the dilution that they use okay so now you want to decode or you want to find out what is this that they are talking about this means you're using one okay remember this two percent also meant two grams right in 100 ml that keep that in mind and do this coming here it would be one meaning one gram in one lakh ml okay 1 lakh ml, this would mean 1 gram in 10,000 ml and here this would mean 1 gram in 1000 ml, alright. So suppose you get a calculation, suppose uh, for example the other day I had given a question to a, a student asking uh, if you have administered 3 cc, okay, these questions can be in terms of your local anesthetic. Also, you know that adrenaline is administered in case of your uh, anaphylactic reactions and all those things. So, suppose you've administered this much cc of, you know, adrenaline in this particular patient and ask you how much of adrenaline ha I have administered. You could get such questions, not always, sometimes. But ba so, basically, you need to know, have a deep understanding of what it means, all right? So, uh, the other day I asked the uh, patient a question that I have administered 3 cc of adrenaline uh, of 1 in 10,000 dilution, okay? How much of adrenaline have I administered? So I want the answer in milligrams, alright? So that means we'll have to find out how many, uh, let's try doing how much in 1 cc. So basically, you know, cc is equal to same as ml, okay? Um, so, you know, 1 ml and cc is the same. So, you know, you have to find out how many milligram of adrenaline is there in 1 cc. So, if, if the dilution is 1 in 10,000, that would mean I have administered 1. It is 1 gram in 10,000 ml. Alright? So, if it is 1 gram in 10,000 ml, now let's do the cross multiplication part all over again. That would mean I want to find out in 1 ml how many gram or milligram. So again that would become a cross multiplication. Okay. Yeah. So again that would go for cross multiplication and that would mean 1 ml into 1 gram divided by 10,000 ml. Now I'm going to convert all this into milli. So this is going to become 1000 milligram. All right. So that is ml, ml I cancel. 1000, 1000. So is equal to 0 0.1 milligram. Okay. So basically 1 ml has 0 0.1 milligram. So 3 ml or sorry or 3 ml or 3 cc would contain 0 0.1 into 3 which is equal to 3.3 .3 milligram of adrenaline. So mainly what you have to remember in both is this 2% means 2 gram in 100 ml because it is 2% right so you, you want to remember 100 remember percent 100 I'm just giving you techniques of remembering here you have everything written it written down like 1 in this much dilution so you know it is always 1 gram in 10,000 or 1,000 or 1 lakh whatever dilution. So this way you can um, figure out the concentration of your lignocaine and adrenaline. Um, yeah, this is just a brief uh, small uh, discussion on how to calculate dosage. Uh, when I'm taking my classes on uh, local anesthetics, we'll, we'll be, you know, giving further notes and we'll uh, make you understand all the kind of, all the different scenarios that can be asked for the exam.